so an update on my indoor garden. So the leaves have come up and the green onions. Of course, I had put some green onions from the store in there and they've already got some shoots on them. They're doing really nice. Um, the hydroponics, mm, we're gonna update that later. That's not working too hot. Um, my lettuces were almost dead and uh, they were just soaking wet. So I let them dry out at the expense of a few leaves and put them in different pots and they are coming back. So that's doing good. Um, some of the back there that's pretty, they were pretty much dead, but there's a few left. And then today I used these neat little containers that I had bought some um, hydroponic butter crunch lettuce in from the grocery store. And I did some of these little peat pellets. Yes, hey, really. And I've planted, doing some, this is kind of an experiment to see how it does. And I did the little peat pellets this year. These are really inexpensive. I think I got 36 of them in a box for like $4 at Lowe's. And so I did some lettuce, some butter crunch, some red leaf, and also some micro tom tomatoes and some Brussels sprouts. So I'm starting those in there. And then this little container here, I'm doing some microgreens. Um, I actually got inspired by another YouTuber that I just subscribed to. Um, Sheree, I can't remember her channel name. I'm gonna find it and then I will plug her. But um, I'm also sprouting some sweet potatoes. There's my um, sugar cane in the back. There's some oregano that I took out of the planter that was outside. And I bought a pineapple the other day. And thanks to all the videos I've seen about regrowing pineapples and especially the lead farmer lately for his little video. I just love that one. I started doing that and of course my sweet potato slips we love sweet potatoes and i didn't do so good at growing them this year but i'm hoping to do a little bit better this year um sweet potatoes are definitely something that's popular in the south because it's so hot here and they love heat um and also I did something with some leftover planters. I planted some radishes. And then I just took one of these little things and put the domes over them until they sprout. And then I'll take it and use it underneath to catch the excess water as they grow. So I figured, hmm, why not try it, be thrifty. So this is my thrifty little garden this year. I'm not going to any expense except in soil. And that's pretty much it. And these probably the butter crunch lettuce will eventually become hydroponic plants because i have one lonesome little seed that decided to sprout and stupid me didn't realize that the seeds were going to fall straight through there and down to the bottom so i had one that got caught in the pan so i'm going to grow them in little peat pots and then i'm going to put the peat pots in here and then the clay pebbles will be able to stabilize them. Oops, I think I just killed that little sprout. That's so funny though. But anyway, there's the update on my indoor gardening. I have some salad greens and herbs. And it's January and there's my tomato, my little volunteer tomato. And you can see it's already starting to redden up and ripen. I've got some more starting and I've been coming in here and like not really thumping them but kind of shaking them a little bit to get them to disperse the pollen since they're not outside for my bees. 
And here is my newest member of the family, my little Miwa kumquat from Logies. And I'm not a big kumquat lover, but I'm gonna try them again because the last time I think I ate one, I was, hmm, hmm, it's been a while. Probably about 45 years ago. And I wasn't real wild about them, but um, Lead Farmer said that the Miwa kumquat was really sweet, so I got one and I'm gonna try it and we'll see. I had to move my lemon and my orange trees back outside but they're probably coming in tonight because we're supposed to have hard freezes tonight and tomorrow night. So we shall see what happens. Have a great day.